Hi, this is CK of CK Education. You may have heard people say things like, well, it's just business. Oh, I understand it's business. You have to understand business. Um, and these kind of phrases are sometimes used when people sort of cut corners. You know, people do sketchy things. People are a little bit unethical, a little bit dishonest. And they, they sort of justify that by saying, well, it's business. It's just business. It's nothing personal, okay? You're hurting somebody and you're, you're stepping on someone, but you say, well, it's just business. Don't take it personally. I've heard this many times in my life. Um, people say things like that. Now, you may have seen something like this in movies or TV shows or whatever, maybe not in real life, but people say these things in real life. And people do things, and then they do the wrong things, they do it the wrong way, and then they justify it by saying, well, it's just business. As if that makes it okay. So let me tell you my thoughts on what I think about this. Is it possible to be ethical, to be honest, and still be successful? Because when you go out in the real world, a lot of people will say things like, well, you know, that's kind of being naive. You can't, you can't be honest and ethical and stuff. I mean, I mean, you know, sometimes you got to cut corners. Sometimes you got to do this. You got to do that. Uh, sometimes you're just going to have to step on people. Sometimes you're going to have to lie. Sometimes you're going to, I mean, you can't be completely ethical. You got to be, have a little bit of a dark side to you to be successful in business. You got to cut some corners. And sometimes you got to, you know, and, and you're going to, you, you hear this a lot. And when I was younger, I was a little bit confused about this. I wasn't sure. Like, maybe maybe you do have to cut some corners. Maybe you do. I mean, maybe business is different. Maybe you can't be, you know, completely ethical and still do well in business. I mean, I, I, I you know, I, there, there's a little bit of confusion there because I've heard so many different things from different people. And then I came to realize and I came to learn that nothing could be further from the truth. You don't have to be unethical to succeed in business. In fact, I've come to realize that the only way to truly be successful in business is to be completely ethical. The only way to really be successful is to be honest, is to be sincere, is to be authentic, is to be real. Not fake, not a sleazy salesperson just trying to sell something. Not cutting corners and being sketchy so you can make another buck. Because those kinds of tactics sometimes work short term. But they never work long term. And a truly successful business person, a truly successful person is successful over the long term. It's not just short term gains. It's long term. And the only way to do it long term is to have a good reputation. The book of Proverbs says... A good name is to be desired above riches, above wealth. I took that to heart when I started this business. This is 12 years ago. And I always made it a goal of mine to put my character and reputation above profits. I don't want to chase money. I'd rather have money chase me. I don't want to have a beggar's mindset. Where I'm asking, where I'm, where I'm, I'm begging, and I, and I'm, you know, um, you know, kissing up to people and, and and trying to conform this way and that way to people. I, I call that a beggar's mindset, and I decided a long time ago I'm not going to live like that. Rather focus on doing the right thing, quality over quantity, people over profits, and when you. Focus on your character is more important than money. Your reputation is much more important than wealth. And if you operate based on those kinds of principles, I found that in the long term, you're way more successful than you would have been if you had a sketchy character, if you had a sketchy reputation. If you put profits before people, if you're chasing money all the time, you're chasing customers all the time, you're chasing clients all the time, they're not chasing you, you're chasing them. And I think that's a problem. I think that's a result of not building a good reputation. It's so important 
that you learn, that you realize that if, especially if you're an entrepreneur, but if you're in business in any, in any form, that you understand that it is the only way to be long-term successful is to be ethical. It's not even like, well, you know, it'll, it'll turn out better. It's not even a better thing. It's, it's like, that's the only way to be truly successful. You do it the other way, you're going to be utterly miserable and regretful in life, even if you make money. And a lot of times you don't even make money doing it that way. So what I'm telling you, it's a myth. It's a lie when people say things like, well, you know, it's, it's always like the sleaze bags, man. It's always like the ones who are unethical. They're the ones who to make a lot of money. Really? Have you seen the results long term? I challenge you to do that. I think you'll find that that is not the case at all. That's a myth. People believe that. A lot of people do believe that, but it's not true at all. So if you're a budding entrepreneur, if you're a young business person, maybe you're not a very young business person, but you're an older business person, whoever you are, if you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur of some sort, if you are serving clients and customers, always remember, put people before profits. Put quality before quantity. Put your reputation before wealth. Don't, don't chase money. Chase the, the right, chase the truth and chase doing things the right way. Money will come chasing after you. And that's how you want it to be. So if you're a business person, I hope you take that to heart. Because when I learned this and when I realized this, it completely changed my perspective about business. And it's, it's, it's brought me so much more success um, than if I had done it the other way. With no regrets. With um, great relationships, you know. And so you want to put relationships before profits. It's about people. Folks, no matter what you do, it's about people. You serve the people and treat people well. That's the first thing. The rest of it will follow if you're doing that thing correctly. So that's what you got to focus on. And so that's what I hope you will focus on. Now, if this video was helpful to you, I hope you'll watch many of the other videos on my channel um, that deal with this kind of thing. Mindset for success, career success, parenting advice, you know, um, personal finance and money advice, even college prep advice for high school students. And um, I encourage you to watch those. There will be a link here shortly. Um, and when you click on that, you can watch all of the videos in this playlist that this video is in as well. And if you thought this was helpful, then I hope you share it with anyone else whom you think uh, would help from it. Um, but again, um, thank you for watching this video up to this point. I, have, I hope you have uh, a good rest of um, this year, 2020. And uh, until my next video, I hope you stay well.